everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Academy doing Learn HTML and CSS Part One in the Organizing HTML, CSS classes, IDs, and divs. Let's go ahead and jump in here. So, what is a class? A class is basically something you're going to assign to an element to take certain parameters, certain properties, and display that CSS. IDs or the same thing as classes except you don't reuse them IDs are specific and and uh, you only will use it in one location and then divs are kind of blocks of code blocks of HTML or stuff that organizes your code and into a div I guess let's go ahead and jump right in so we get an example of an ID so you said ID is equal to Botswana, I guess. Um, we're going to add a div nested inside the first div. So we have our div here. You'll see that everything is nested within it. Our H1 and H2 is nested within it. We're going to go ahead and give an ID. We're going to set it equal to header dash text. We're not going to, apparently they don't want us to worry too much about understanding divs quite yet, so I'm going to kind of skip that part. It's going to run this. So now we've given it an ID of header-text. Let's move on. In our previous sections, we did learn about how to set up stuff for elements. Now you'll see this dot. That means the class. Now, if you're targeting a header, Typically, you don't want to have a class and a header be named the same thing. But in your CSS, the way that we are able to tell it, tell the CSS that it's a that it's an ID, is we put a hashtag in front of the name. So we're gonna do slash, hashtag header dash text like so, and that's how it knows that this is an ID. Now, when dealing with classes, similar to IDs, but you can use them multiple times. So in here, we're going to change this ID. Instead of ID, we're going to use class, and we're going to set it equal to partner. Just going to run that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's move on. Now, the difference between a, in the CSS, the class and the header, or excuse me, the class and the ID, is we actually, for this, we go ahead and do a dot for the class in the name. So we use a hashtag for an ID and a dot for class. So this was supposed to be partner, excuse me. Oh, whoops, they already had a class here. They already had some CSS. I six, scroll down to here, and then just put our dot partner. So it's gonna, anything where the partner class is assigned, it's gonna go ahead and inherit these properties, the padding, the text line, the margin, and the border dash bottom. Don't worry, we haven't covered those properties yet. We'll probably do that in a future section. So you can also do a couple things here. Now, what's, what it's basically showing you here is, so breaking is the class. This will actually, anywhere where the class has breaking, it's gonna assign everything here. Now, if you wanted to only apply certain things in breaking for paragraphs that have this class, you would do p dot breaking. Now this is class specific because 
as we as we uh, basically said before, IDs are used only one spot. Similar to how we were able to put a comma between our selectors for elements such as the H1 and the paragraph tag, we can do the same thing with classes as well. So we're going to scroll down here to uh, take a look at dot prop and dot partner. So where's dot prop? Dot partner. They both share the same text align setting. So we're going to go ahead and delete this property from from both. And now we're going to go ahead and create a dot partner, comma a dot prop and we're going to set text align for them both here it's just an example you probably wouldn't do it like this for just a single thing like this but it's good to know that you have the ability of setting certain parameters for both of them like that HTML or CSS can get kind of crazy once you get into it um, the, the basics of it are simple enough. The advanced aspects of CSS get crazy. <laughs> so um, you'll notice here that you can actually assign multiple classes. All you have to do is put a space in between the classes and it will inherit multiple classes. So it's inheriting our book class and it's also inheriting the domestic class in the example. So this is a, a, some really good advice they have here. When you're, when you're doing multiple elements that are similar, you want to kind of keep them together. If you're targeting a uh, partner, you're going to want to keep partner, comma, prop nearer than both. And if you're targeting partner and a partner image, you're going to do the same thing. You want to keep everything as organized as possible in your code. So let's go back down to the index.html. We'll have, we have a image in here. Let's see here. Here we are. What we want to do is go ahead and put a div around this image. Around this block of code, excuse me. So around the image and the H2 and the paragraph. So a div is basically a container. So we're throwing a container around it. So let's see here. So we're going to go down to this div and we're going to assign a class here. Let's run this one more time. So we're going to do class, and we're going to assign the prop class to it so it acts like it has, so it inherits that styling from the prop class. But instead of having all these share the, having all these multiple divs, we're going to go ahead and actually do a div around all three of these to do something different. So here, oh, we're going to create another div. And we're going to give it a class equal to value dash props. And we're going to go ahead and close this after the last div like so. Let's go ahead and run it. And now it's going to run more the value.prop class around it. So now we're going to grow back up and we want to put a div around that. So create a div. We're going to assign a class equal to main. And because we want to encase all of them, we're going to go ahead and go down to here. Oh, excuse me. I don't think that was supposed to work. They wanted to do the H3 and P elements. 
So um, this goes on to basically say how important divs are, and they are. You're going to be using divs quite a bit to organize your code all the time. So just be, be ready to be pretty familiar with it. All right, so we, we learned uh, a lot about classes and IDs. Um, what you really need to take away from this is that IDs are specific. You only can have one ID assigned to things, and uh, classes are not. You can have multiple classes assigned to multiple things, and a little bit about the naming convention, and not, not even the naming convention, the way that you tell CSS that it's a class is with a dot, uh, tell CSS with an ID is a hashtag. We also learned about divs being containers to kind of organize your code and to do things with it as well. So you're going to be using that quite a bit. Um, maybe a little bit of a, a weird concept when you're not too familiar with it, but you'll get the hang of it the more you use it. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you know anyone you think would help benefit from this. And a special thanks to any of you supporting me on Patreon. It's appreciated, and it goes a long way. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front-end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing, so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.